morning dear hearts we are now on lesson 73 and please subscribe today's lesson is i will there be light that word will can sometimes seem to be a little confusing okay we talk about god's will and we are in recognition that god's will and our will are truly one and the same but can I will there be light? So let's change that to I desire. I want there to be light. That is my deepest desire for there to be light. And the lesson says that we know we are considering the will you share with God. God's will and mine are one indeed. And the will that we share with God has the power of creation in it. But there's idle wishes and grievances and those come from the ego but they are actually very much responsible for the world that we are viewing right now it says the wishes of the ego gave rise to this world and the ego's need for grievances which are necessary to maintain it peoples it peoples this world with figures that seem to attack you and call for righteous judgment the the line here, the recognition that the ego needs grievances. And in order for the ego to be maintained, we must maintain having grievances and judgments against each other. Attack thoughts must be a daily part of our ritual here. If we remove attack thoughts from our mind, then the ego is weakened and eventually will fall away. The ego is maintained by our judgments, our grievances, just like breath maintains a life in this world. Paragraph three says, your will is lost to you in this strange bartering, the back and forth for, with the ego, in which guilt is traded back and forth and grievances increase with each exchange. Can such a world have been created by the will the son of God shares with his father? Did God create disaster for his son? Creation is the will of both father and son together. Would God create a world that kills himself? So we're going to go back to lesson 14, that God did not create a meaningless world. So since God did not create a meaningless world, all of these grievances, uh, grievances and these judgments and these disasters are not real, but they live within my ego mind that is filled with idle wishes and grievances. So this is how the meaningless world is maintained for my viewing pleasure. But is it really a pleasure? Now, the, the, um, the lesson goes on to say, you know, because we're going to start to get into uh, practicing. It says, today we will try once more to reach the world that is in accordance with your will, the one that is co-created by Father and Son together. And the light is in it because it does not oppose the will of God. I will there be light. I will there be that world that is filled with light. But it says it's not heaven, but the light of heaven shines on it. Darkness has vanished. Darkness has vanished, the grievances have vanished, the judgments have vanished. We could interpret this as being what the Course talks about in the text as the happy dream. Darkness has vanished from the happy dream. The ego's idle wishes have been withdrawn, yet the light that shines upon this world reflects your will, and so it must be in you that we will look for it. Nothing is out there. And the next... Um, part tells us that forgiveness lifts the darkness and reasserts your will and lets you look upon a world of light. Grievances will darken our mind, but within that ego mind where the grievances lie, there's also that part of our mind where the light is. Which source do I go to? Which part of my mind am I aligning with? Because whichever one I connect with, will be the reason, the source for what I see. And today, we want to go past all the dark thoughts 
and go strictly into the light that also lives within us. It is not out there. Both the grievances, the darkness are within me, but then so again is the light. The light resides right there. It abides right there within our holy mind. Um, and it says the barrier to grievances is easily passed and cannot stand between you and your salvation, you and your freedom. To go to paragraph six, it says, forget the ego's arguments which seek to prove all this is really heaven. You know it is not so. You cannot want this for yourself. There is a point beyond which illusions cannot go. And I think that is very reassuring to know that at a certain point, ego cannot take my illusions any further. In the course, in the text, it says your tolerance for pain is high, but it's not without limit. There will always be a limit, a time when we draw the line in the sand where we say no more, no more. We make the decision and we stick with it. I will there be light and I turn away from all darkness and all grievances. Now, in this, it says, suffering is not happiness, and it is happiness you really want. And again, just to go back to that line in Lesson 20 that I'm determined to see, it says, do not misconstrue structure for, um, to, for force or pressure. You want salvation. You want to be happy. You want peace. You want salvation. You want to be happy. You want peace. You do not have them now because our mind is undisciplined. We are disciplining. We are training our mind to go towards the light. I will there be light. I want my mind placed in the light. And then the, the lesson says, we will succeed today if you remember that you want salvation for yourself. You want to accept God's plan because you share in it and only God's plan for our freedom and our happiness will work. You want, you have no will that can really oppose God's plan and you do not want to do so. Salvation, happiness, freedom is for you. Above all else, you want the freedom to remember who you really are. And that reminds me of lesson 28. Above all else, I am determined to see. Above all else, I put this desire, this, this, um, this reason, above all else, I am determined to see and to see differently. There's nothing else that is of more importance to me than to see above all else. And it says, today is the ego stands powerless before your will. Um, it says, today let your will be done and end forever the insane belief that it is hell in place of heaven that you choose. So what is insanity then? Insanity is choosing hell and then trying to believe and make it into heaven. It will never be that way. We always choose hell or heaven. Today we choose heaven and only heaven. And then it says, we will begin our longer practice periods with the recognition of God's plan for salvation and only his is wholly in accord with your will. There is nothing else that we want. And it says, this is the day, this is the release of the Son of God from hell and from all idle wishes. The practicing, again, we're doing longer periods, at least twice a day, multiple times during each hour, we will say, I will there be light. Darkness is not my will. And uh, reminding ourselves when we go into practicing, I will there be light. Let me behold the light that reflects God's will and mine because they are one. I will there be light. Darkness is not my will. I will there be light. Death is not my will. I will there be light. Grievances are not my will. I will there be light. The ego is not my will. I will there be light and only light. And that is where we end today's lesson. Um, I hope this helped. Um, I hope you liked it. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, pray. Pray for the light. It is surrounding us. So pray that we become aware of it there around us.
all the time. And shit. Right. Namaste.